It's team time. It's team time. It's team time. Hey, hey, hey. It's team time. It's team time. It's team time. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back, Steam Scholars. We have learned some amazing things about wind and weather lately. Do you think you can remember at least one fact that we learned? Take some time to discuss with your class now. What phenomenally great answers. Say enlighten and brainstorm. What do you remember? Oh, may I go first? Of course, Brainstorm. Okay, I remember that weather tells us day to day what the sky and air are like in any given place. Weather tells us if it is sunny, windy, cloudy, rainy, stormy, or snowing. Oh, that's a good one, Brainstorm. Thanks. I also remember that it takes a combination of wind, heat, and water to make the different types of weather, like snow, rain, clouds, and wind. <laughs> wow! Great job! And Lighten, what do you remember? I remember that rain, snow, clouds, and wind are known as a... Oh, a phenomenon! <laughs> That's right, Rainstorm! A phenomenon is the observable events that can be explained with science. Oh my goodness! Excellent job! You guys and the STEAM scholars are like scientists, a person who gathers research and evidence. Because you all gave such good scientific information, I think it's time we learn about the two other phenomena, weathering and erosion. Erosion? Weathering? I heard you mention that the last time, but what is weathering and erosion, Miss Wilson? I'm glad you asked. Steam scholars, why don't you make some educated guesses about weathering and erosion? Discuss with your class now. Miss Wilson, I think I have a guess. Does weathering and erosion have to do with breaking something down? Hoo-wee! You are hot like the sun in Lighten. To be exact, weathering is when pieces of the Earth's surface are broken down into smaller pieces. Erosion is when those smaller pieces are moved from one place to another. Hmm. So what is breaking the Earth's surface down into smaller pieces? And how does this relate to weather, Miss Wilson? Ah, look at you, Brainstorm! Doing the ask portion of the design thinking process. What and how are excellent questions to learn more about something. Why don't we watch a quick clip and then read our book to gain better understanding? Watch this clip. What do you notice? What do you think is breaking the Earth's surface down? How do you think this relates to weather? Take some time to discuss with your class now. You guys are ice cold. Great answers. What did you notice, Brainstorm and Enlighten? I noticed the sand falling. I noticed that too. I think the sand was the Earth's surface and that the water was what broke the surface down. Right on, you two! The sand was the Earth's surface that was weathered away by the water. The water performed erosion by moving that sand from one place to another. This relates to weather because we know that it takes wind, heat, and water to make weather like rain, snow, clouds, and wind. And weather types like rain and wind storms break down rock and stone, and it can also carry it away through erosion. In our book, Erosion, Changing Earth's Surface, it says, whipping wind. Wind is the other force of erosion and weathering. And wind batters everything in its path. Wind can wear away buildings and carve away stone. Wind also has help to do its work. Sand carried by the wind rubs against objects that the wind hits. Wind can form sand dunes and make sharp rocks smooth. Wind can also lift up soil and carry it away. Like rain, wind has a bigger effect on land with few plants. Wow! Weather is amazing!
amazing! I really learned a lot. Now I can share with my friends and family to give them greater understanding about the weather, weathering, and erosion. Mm hmm. Yep, I agree. Who knew weather could do so many things? That is wonderful. I hope you learned a lot too, STEAM scholars. Now check out these tips and questions to help you prepare for your project. Take out your design thinking process card to help you. A. Ask, what am I trying to create? B. Brainstorm, how can I use my materials to make what I am trying to create? C. Collect, what information have I learned that will help me create? D. Develop, what is the first step I need to make to create? E. Evaluate, what works, what doesn't work, and what can I do to make my design better? And F. Fine tune, is my design where I want it to be? Are there any changes I need to make? Before we go, here's a joke. What do you eat when you're stuck in cold weather and angry about it? A burger. <laughs> Until next time, my STEAM scholars, remember, whether or not you think you can or you can't, you are right. Be great and keep exploring. Bye-bye.